Now, my name is Giles Heilper and I'm a consultant knee surgeon. Uh, I practice uh, both in the NHS and privately, with most of my private work happening at Parkside Hospital in Wimbledon. Uh, my focus is almost exclusively the knee and that encompasses all aspects of knee surgery. Robotic arm surgery has some fairly obvious benefits to the patient. Uh, it allows bespoke implantation of the prosthesis to suit a patient's individual anatomy. Robotic arm surgery really is a tool that surgeons use, so it's important that patients and the wider community don't think that I sit in the coffee room, press a button and the robot does the procedure. That is not what happens. It's a tool that is very much operated by the surgeon to improve accuracy of implantation of the prosthesis. And it makes that easier because firstly you have a CT scan pre-operatively, so you can organise and make a very detailed plan before you even start the operation. Post-operatively, patients who have had robotic arm surgery seem to recover quicker. With that in mind, I would expect my partial knee replacements to go home the next day, and I'd expect my total knee replacements to stay in for two or three nights. Despite the fact that robotically assisted surgery is, I think, a game change from standard knee replacement surgery, it doesn't change the fact that knee replacement surgery is painful. So the first few weeks after the operation without question are painful. And that typically corresponds with the time when you have to work through your physiotherapy exercises. But because using the robotic arm reduces those pain levels, it really facilitates the ability for the patient to do those physio exercises early. Uh, and I'd expect after a partial knee replacement for patients to be off their crutches within two or three weeks and after a total knee replacement, probably three or four weeks. Physiotherapy is a hugely important part of recovery, uh, and as surgeons we often talk about our part of the whole experience, probably representing 50% of the total outcome, and effort from the patient and, and the physiotherapy probably representing the other 50%, and that's something that is really important to understand prior to committing to any form of knee replacement.